We have prepared for you a quick troubleshooting video for electronic transformers. Just something good to know. We sell thousands of small electronic transformers and they come in a number of output wattages. About every two or three weeks, we get a customer that complains that he or she has received a defective unit. It is possible they did, just due to the law of averages. In the last few months, we ask that the transformers be returned to us for testing. I have one of these return transformers taped to the table here in our parts department right now. The most common complaint is that there is no output voltage. Let's check this one. As you can see, the customer is correct, or is he? Okay. He attached this expensive digital meter and came up with the results you see here. Not very good. What he did not take into account is that almost all small electronic, low voltage lighting transformers have a square sine wave in their output, and his voltage meter will not measure correctly when connected. So let's put an analog meter on the line and see what we get. It shows that the transformer is defective. But wait, the electronic transformer has a circuit in it that is looking for a load. Once we put a load on it, or as in this case, a small halogen bulb, you can measure the output, but only on an analog meter. The second complaint we get is that the output is not 12 volts. I always ask the customer the input voltage they are using. I always get the same answer, 120 volts. When I asked if they measured it, they always tell me yes. Well, I hate to tell you, you almost never have 120 volts. And if you do, it varies during the day. We measured it here during our test and got this voltage but it changes each and every time we check it. Here's why. As load increases during the day, you know, air conditioners come on, washing machines, ovens, the load on the electrical system goes up and the voltage goes down. This applies to your house, your street, your city, and your state. We have measured a low of 108 volts in San Diego and a high of 134 volts in Colorado. It is a huge range, and the transformer adjusts the output based on its input. That is what makes it a dimmable transformer. If you're looking for a transformer that has a constant 12 volt output no matter what, this is not it. And that transformer will not dim. In addition, if you overdrive your halogen bulbs, you will greatly shorten their life. Watch out for this. Yes, sometimes a bad transformer goes out, and we're happy to replace it. However, it will save you time and money if you know how these little devices work and how different voltage meters read the output. We hope this has been helpful. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.